So when you open up Bitwig Studio Beta 1, 5.2 Beta 1, you maybe already notice something. Sometimes you get an overlay. If you use an NVIDIA, NVIDIA graphics card, you get this, um, yeah, this overlay here. Use Alt-Z to open up GeForce, the overlay, experience overlay, right? So um, if you do this here, it looks like this, right? It's obviously in German, but you can record games with this and it usually gives you here options to apply some kind of graphical filter. But when we choose this here, it says this game is not supported. Um, so because Bitwig Studio now is based or all the drawings, all the rendering is based on the GPU, we can actually treat this like a game, right? And I remember back in the day when I used to play Battlefield, um, I used a tool called Reshade. Um, because in Battlefield, I even made a video about this here seven years ago, um, in Battlefield we had a bad tint here, this yellow tint on top of every level, right? And it looked a bit off to me. Um, so I created basically a reshade preset to make it look more like clear, right? R removing the tint basically. It, it, so reshade works basically like this. It hooks up in between the application or the game and your graphics card API, like DirectX or Vulkan or something like this. So it not changes the application. It just says to the application, hey, I'm the... I'm the DirectX API basically. And I think this only works on Windows, not on Linux. Maybe there are some different solutions there, um, but on Windows, it kind of works. So you can download Reshade here, it's completely free. You can choose here uh, Reshade or Reshade with full add-on support. I uh, downloaded here the latter. Um, so yeah, and by the way, this is highly experimental, right? Um, I show this because people will get behind this anyway at some point and they will, will try it out and it's probably better to experiment with this in the beta phase and um, yeah please don't use real you know your real work uh, your real project with this or um, you know make sure everything is safe or if you're not safe with uh, fiddling around in windows then this is probably not for you so when you download this here um, we have to stand in the download folder here. It looks like this, and you can install this. It says here this build for reshade this this build of reshade is intended for single player games only and may cause bans in multiplayer games. So Bitwig is not a multiplayer game, it's also not a single player game, not a problem. So here there's a list of applications. Um, and Bitwig is not in here, at least not for me. So I go here for the program, program files, Bitwig Studio Beta 1 directory, and I choose Bitwig Studio. And then I hit Next, make sure you, this is correct. Hit Next, and then you can choose basically your API. For me, it's DirectX 10, 11, and 12. And when I hit Next, I can choose plugins, shader plugins for this tool. If you already installed reshade at some point you get probably a question for uninstalling this again or updating right this is also important if you want to remove reshade just reopen up the setup and then choose here the same api hit next and then you can uninstall it so here is now a list of uh, plugins we can install or actually shaders or packages of shaders you can just run here with the standard uh, or SweetFX packages, but you can also check everything if you want to, if you want to try out uh, a few wacky things, and then hit next, and then it downloads here all the uh, plugins or shaders uh, to the directory. Uh, it takes a moment. Um, so yeah, please, if something went wrong, please call the, don't call the support, Bitwig support, right? <laughs> and say, uh, Polarity made you do it. Um, so these are now add-ons you can install for Reshade itself. We yeah, don't need any of that. And hit just next and it says it's installed. Okay. So inside of the Bitwig directory, it looks now like this. We have now here um, Reshade preset, any Reshade log, Reshade 
Um, then we have here uh, reshade shaders. So in there are all the shader applications and also textures and so on. And to make sure everything works correctly, you also have to set this directory to, or you have to re remove the right um, access or the right protection here. Um, I need to go to extended here or advanced or uh, safety here. And then I have to, I, I think I changed trusted installer here, writing rights and also for users that the user can write into this directory. It's pretty important because if you open up reshade in Bitwig, then it wants to write your settings down, right? What kind of changes you make and so on. Uh, so this directory here needs to be, to be uh, free of write protection. Um, so you need to remove the write protection for this directory. That's pretty important. I don't know if this is allowed by the TOS of Bitwig Studio. I have no idea. This is highly experimental. We just, you, you know, uh, fiddle around and have some fun. That's basically what we try to do. So if we open up your Bitwig Studio now, um, it should give you some kind of overlay. Yeah, at the top here, you can see it loads basically all the reshade packages in there. Um, and it's now in Germany yeah, and it uses the system language. So if you are on an English um, language based operating system, this is probably in English. What it says here basically reshade uh, was successfully installed and I uh, can use position one on my keyboard to open up this panel inside of Bitwig Studio and it reads you here and gives you some kind of information and also a tutorial. You can also skip the tutorial if you want to. So we do this and you're back in your menu here. So these are all the shaders we installed and you can choose any shader. You can also choose multiple shaders. Um, let's say here's adaptive color grading. I'm searching for something here. Let's say hue, hue FX and I enable this. You can see already a bit with changes colors. You can open this up here and can change the hue mid hue range. I think we can also here, yeah detach this here and move it around. So you can see here the colors already ch changed, right? Uh, we can make changes to it. Uh, we can also, instead of changing the hue, we can call in a LUT. If you have a lookup table uh, file, if you already, if you do photographs or video um, processing, you probably already know what LUTs are. So you basically have a lookup table of colors and um, you can change then red for green or, you know, you can exchange the colors. Basically it's a table of colors and you can ex exchange everything. So you can use LUTs in here if you want to. There's also some wacky shaders that say you can make everything look like a CRT monitor here. Um, then you have your settings down here for the CRT FX. Um, you can change the resolution, um, gamma monitor, brightness, scan intensity, um, curvature doesn't work. Um, what else do we have over scan? So you can, you know, create a lot of strange effects with this. And this is, this goes way beyond what you can do with uh, themes or theming in other doors. Um, it, it may be even better. I don't know. Uh, but it's not like you can say, oh, I want a slider in green and I want this in red. This is not possible. It's more like a global effect on top of Bitwig Studio. Um, you can also use here, uh, make everything look like an, a character here. Character spacing. That's even smaller. Swap colors, oh god, invert colors. So yeah, a lot of wacky things. Also something like this, mm, okay. Blurring, you can blur Bitwig. So yeah, a lot of post FX uh, that you can use. Um, let's stick here with the with, uh, hue FX, you can also, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you are happy with this, you can also save this into a preset file and can share it on the internet for other users, right? Or for, for later use or do have different settings. 
Um, color mix saturation limit. Uh, maybe let's search for color here. Adaptive color. Darkness. So, yeah. Color inversion. Color isolation. Um, that's probably not what you want. Is this one? Only red invert. Oh God. Yeah, you can do wacky things with this. Um, I just want to show you this because you will discover it at some point anyway. Um, so you can tweak this in all kinds of different directions. And like I said, uh, if you use a lookup table, you can basically really target a specific colors. You can say everything that's red, I want to have it green or something like this, right? Um, but here with the sliders, you can also have a lot of fun. Saturation. Oh yeah, you can remove the saturation here. Then dial in something that looks more like to your taste. <clears throat> yeah. And like I said, you can combine it. Film grain, okay. I can add grain on top. Looks like a movie now. So yeah, this is all now possible because it renders on the GPU. Um, it's like a game and you can modify it. But like I said, um, please treat this with caution. And it's just an experimental, you know, plug in. Or maybe it's fun to you to, to just play around with this. I go here to perf performance mode. Um, so performance mode is basically that you only compile shaders that you use, not, not all shaders. It takes a while sometimes. Yeah, and then you can hit position one and then you can, you know, uh, play with this and use Bitwig as you, as you do. <laughs> and yeah, it's kind of funny to do this. Uh, I put the link in the description below. And if you want to, you can share maybe your uh, reshade uh, presets in the comments down below. Maybe you found something funny or you have some ideas about it. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, that's it. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel and have some fun with the beta. Bye.